Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I want to go over a topic which is really easy to understand. And you're going to think, why am I even covering this? It's about background images and background gradients. So let me show you what you would normally do and what I think you really should start considering. We have an image and I've got a grayscale version and I have the normal color version. Normally, we would go over to our container or wherever and we would have our image. And that's what I've got here. And over here in the one below, I have the grayscale version. Then what we would do is we would go down to where we have background overlay and we'd pick a color. Let's just go for this red one. And then we'd mess around with the opacity. You can even make it be one so you can't see it. Or you can make it be a bit lighter. Let's just leave all of them at 0.5. And I'm going to do the same to this bottom grayscale image as well, just so that we have a little bit of consistency. Why is this a problem? Because you're going to go, well, yeah, it does what it's meant to do. I could add in a gradient if I want. You know, it doesn't have to be just one color. I could have a bit of transparency and red or black and red. I could do what I want here. What's the problem? Well, look at it. The colors are still bleeding through. And sometimes when you have a bit of text on there, there might be a bit of conflict with your attention and what you're looking at, especially if it's a very busy image and you're trying to make your text to be clearer by adding in a gradient. What you really should do is swap the order. So now you do the gradient first or the overlay and then you do the image. So let's go over here to this second version. We again have the image. Let's get rid of that image. And instead, we're going to go and set the color. The color is now in. And we'll do the same for the one at the bottom as well. Let's get rid of that image and we're going to set the color. So the background is the color. Now let's go back to the top one and let's pop the color image in as a background overlay. Now there is something that will appear that you did not see here. So I'm going to go over to my background overlay and I'm now going to pick my color image. It's the exact same image. I set it to be a cover. You can see what it's doing. OK, and you're going to look at that and go, well, what's the difference? Let me go back to the original one, okay? Go down to the background overlay. Look at it. You have color and you have the opacity. Now let's go to the second one. We go to the background overlay now. We still have the image. We still have all of this extra stuff, obviously, because we've picked an image. But look, we have blend mode. Let me just prove to you that if we went back over here, blend mode is not there. Okay, so if you added in the image, sorry, I'm scrolling a bit there. If you add it in the image as a background image, you won't have the blend mode. If you add it in second as the overlay, it is now there. And my favorite one that you really should go for, I'm going to leave it at 0.5 so it's the same opacity, is multiply. Look at that. Look at the difference between that and that. And if you want to make it a bit lighter or stronger, I mean, look what happens when I go up to one now. Look at the difference of that. Are you telling me? that that, the way we always do it with background image and then the overlay is better than that. Yes, there is a little bit of bleed. I'm not going to lie. You, you can see it there. But it is so much more stronger in the red and the tone of color. Let's do the same here. We've already got our background color. We go to the overlay. We pick now the grayscale version of that image. We go and set it to be a cover like that. And again, I'm now going to go and pick multiply. And again, let's increase it to something like that. And I'm just going to get my face out of the way. Look at that. Look, and this is a grayscale version. So now you've got so much less bleed coming through. I mean, it's complete like gone now almost. Imagine you've popped in text over here, right? This is 0.5 or you make it a bit stronger. Isn't your text going to stand out so much more on these two versions? So all I'm getting you to think about is we always go with background image and then I'm going to add in my overlay or my gradient and blah, blah, blah. How about you swap it? Your background is now the color and you can have a gradient color. Look, I could go over here now. Let's stick in a gradient. There we go. It still works fine. OK, you can still just about see the image because I've got it set to be a one when I get to the overlay. But you add in your image as the overlay. And then you have the multiply and there are other settings. I mean, you could go for overlay and screen and you're going to get different versions. If you really want to make your words stand out and you've got an image and you want to show the image and you want to show the words and all of that, multiply is your friend. I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon.